our organization, Fair Maps Maryland, are uh, currently suing over the congressional maps that the Maryland legislature uh, put forward. Uh, gerrymandering has been going on in this country for a long time, and Maryland has a deep history of it. Unlike what you hear on mainstream media, Democrats are guilty of it here in Maryland. And so we were surprised when we got a, uh, a legal filing from the DCCC out of DC asking to be a legal defendant in our case that's currently against the Maryland legislature. Um, more interesting was that Mark Elias was going to be the attorney. Um, and as you, as your viewers and, and you well know, Mark Elias is challenging partisan gerrymandering across the country, except here in Maryland, he'll be seeking to defend it. Uh, now, that might not be unethical in a court of law, but this isn't a court of law where we are right now. This is rank hypocrisy, right? And I think really indicative of the kind of games that are being played here. Mark Elias likes to portray himself as a defender of democracy. Listen, I'm a Republican operative in my other in my day job. Mark Elias is a Democratic operative, period, end of story. And that's all this is about. Believe it or not, you know, we actually looked at the case that Mark Elias was bringing in North Carolina to build some of the legal arguments in our case. So the idea that now he's going to be on the other side defending gerrymandering in Maryland, listen, it was just too rich of an opportunity to pass up. You know, states can make their own decisions uh, when it comes to how they run their elections and how they do redistricting. Here in Maryland, uh, three out of the last five gubernatorial elections have been won by Republicans. And we currently have a map that seven Democratic uh, uh, congressmen and women and one Republican. The map that they just proposed is an eight, and uh, not only proposed, but passed is an eight zero map. There's something wrong with that. And Mark Elias believes there's something wrong with that in every other state except for Maryland. Um, this is a gentleman who's frequently on CNN talking about the dangers and threats that American democracy faces. But when it comes down to it, he's, uh, he's a guy out there just trying to get Democrats elected. And you know what? That's fine. Just be honest about it. You know, former President Obama and you know, Eric Holder were, are very uh, large you know, activists against gerrymandering in every single state except Maryland. Right. This is a theme you'll see a lot. The national media loves to talk about, about gerrymandering being a threat to democracy in every other state, any other conservative state for that matter. But they always forget Maryland. I believe that Governor Hogan has reached out to former Attorney General Eric Holder multiple times to try to get, get his interest into what's going on in Maryland. And of course, those those calls have not been answered. And you know what? I think that is kind of a you know a nice little microcosm of the issue of gerrymandering in, in general. You have a lot of people who complain about it in only states that they don't like uh, you know, the current political power structure. Right. You know, I personally believe that gerrymandering, uh, especially the way it's done now over the last 10 years, it's gone from, you know, guessing and broad strokes to really pinpoint laser cutting up of neighborhoods. I think that's it's really why we have a tremendous amount of idiots in Washington, D.C. Right. I'd like to see more states. Uh, move independently on their own, under their own volition to nonpartisan commissions. I think it's better for our country. I'm not personally really in favor of, you know, federalizing our state elections. Um, but I, I do want to see more states, and I think 19 states already have, move to independent commissions. I personally don't believe that politicians should be choosing their own voters and drawing their own districts. But like I said, you know, you can have reasonable dis disagreements about that. Um, you know, Americans by and large hate phonies, uh, and, and don't like hypocrites. Uh, and I think you've got a lot of that going on in these situations. In Mark Elias's case, uh, specifically, he's founded this group called Democracy Docket, right? I haven't looked into it, but I bet you dollars to donuts that's, that's completely funded by the DCCC, right? Period. It's an arm of the Democratic campaign uh, committee that whose sole purpose is to elect more Democrats uh, to the House of Representatives in D.C. Um, so you should just, you know, you should look at him as another Democratic operative who's fighting to get more Democrats elected. As simple as that.